you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Meg and today we are doing a get ready with me Instagram style So I do have some other videos on my channel that go along with this theme. There is a playlist that will be listed down below. Basically, I like doing these get ready with me Instagram videos because normally when I do a look for Instagram that's a little bit more avant-garde or artsy or out there, I normally don't have a plan in my head so I just sit down and create it as I go. So therefore, this is not going to be a step-by-step talk-through tutorial. However, there may be a voiceover in this video or there's just going to be music in the background. Either way, I hope you enjoy it and let's go ahead and get into it. So the theme for today's video is going to be Galaxy. I have the lighter version on the left and the darker version on the right. So I am going to include tutorials for both versions in this video today. If you are interested in the darker version only, that is going to be last. The lighter version is going to be first. So I will have the timestamp right here for the darker version. And let's go on and roll into the tutorial. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get rocking with what's on my face already. I have my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in shade 201 on, along with my Rain Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer in the shade Fair. And then I also took my NYX Jumbo Stick Pencil in Milk. I put this on my lower waterline to help open my eyes up. I love doing this with every makeup look. And then I also went ahead and put some eyeliner on. This is a Wet n Wild Mega Liquid Liner. I didn't do a wing, I just added a nice black line as a base. And then I also filled my brows in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe. And then lastly, I already put on some lipstick and I'm wearing the Dose of Colors Lipstick in No Shade. This is from the Desi and Katie Collection. And shameless promotion, I do have a tutorial using this stuff and a whole video displaying all the collection products. If you guys want to check it out, link will be down below. Other products you're going to see me use throughout this video, I'm going to pull out my Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe, and this is the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary palette. Unfortunately, they don't make it anymore, but these have the perfect galaxy colors in it if you do own it. And to get started, I'm taking that e.l.f. stippling brush and I'm going to use Half Truth. This is a perfect dark, smoky, purpley gray color. I'm going to put this in my contour area and I'm going to rub it in. And then I'm also going to actually just stipple it onto my face as well. This is going to help add a textured look and it's going to be really nice when we layer on the lighter colors. I also wanted to include my eye space in this look, so I'm just taking a Morphe G24 blending brush and I'm just adding this into the very inner hollows of my eye and then on the lower lash line, I'm going to put that on the outer edge. And it's just going to give it a really cool effect when we add in the other shadows. Digging into my Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to take that purple and blue color, mix those together and add that as my next layer. And then I'm going to come back for that shiny, lighter bluish green that's in the bottom left corner. Going in with the hot pink, which is Junk Show from that Urban Decay palette, I'm going to take a smaller stippling brush from e.l.f. And honestly, these all came in a pack for under $10. I think e.l.f. brushes are great. You can find them at the drugstore. And I'm just going to put that right above where we have the purple and blue and continue to stipple that on and drag it onto the cheek area as well. This next brush is like a shadow stippling brush and I love it for this. I'm going to go in with Tainted, which is a nice holographic pink color and we're going to highlight with that and then we're also going to add Omen which is my favorite eyeshadow color of all time. I cannot get enough of this shadow. It's also a holographic and we're going to mix that in there and it's going to add more to the galaxy look and add more dimension. I'm also going to take a mix of these two shadows and add it to my lid space to complete that area. Two of the mascaras I use are from Maybelline, the Colossal Big Shop Mascara and Falsies Angel Push Up Mascara and I also use my MAC Extend and Play on my lower lashes. For Falsies, I added my Ardell Wispies and these are my all time favorite lashes. 
Moving on to the fun part, this is a NYX liner in white, and this was dried out. You guys are going to see me struggling with this, but I honestly just added in a drop of water and it brought it back to life. But this is where you get to be creative and have more fun with this look. You can kind of put little dots around your face. I drew stars, and then I also wanted to do a constellation, so I kind of connected that, and you'll see as this look goes on. There's also no rhyme or reason to this or no right way or wrong way. It's however you want to go ahead and play with this. And this is what makes this look so much fun and why I love doing these Instagram videos. I just love having my creativity flow. To get this darker galaxy look started, I'm putting a transition shade down, which is kind of pointless, but I just literally have to or else it will irk me. And I'm going to use Abyss from the Jaclyn Hill palette for the black color, and I'm just going to pack this all over my lid. I'm going to smear it on my lower lash line, and we're just going to create a super smoked out look with this. And this is perfect if you're a beginner with smoky eyes or working with black shadow because it doesn't need to be perfect. So now that we have that face laid down, I can kind of see where the shape is going and I wanted to bring it out into my brow and just really get that inner corner hollowed out looking. So I'm going to smudge the shadow up in there and then I'm going to go back to the outer corner of my eye and smear it out towards my temple. To get the contour part going and the galaxy part going, I'm starting off with a magenta shadow. I'm using Urban Decay shadows for this part of the look. This is Junk Show. And then that lighter pink stripe you can see below the black, it's like an iridescent duochrome lighter pink. It's tainted. So I'm going to blend Junk Show and Tainted together and it's just going to mark as our contour slash blush slash highlight. And then to add a little bit more depth and dimension, I'm going to take my favorite eyeshadow of all time, Omen, which is the dual chrome with the purple and blue, and blend that into there. Um, the first look was very purpley and lighter colors, so for the darker look, I really wanted to bring in like the pinks of the galaxy colors and tie that in. You definitely want to work on adding depth and dimension to these looks. That's what makes it so fun. So take your time with this. And to add more dimension, what is a galaxy look without glitter? So it's supposed to represent the tiny little stars. This is a silver glitter from Urban Decay, and I'm using my NYX glitter glue. You guys can see me tapping that into my skin with my finger, and then I'm applying the glitter with my brush. Just be prepared to have glitter go everywhere and to find it for weeks afterwards because it never goes away. So I forgot to film the lip and I just used a black liquid lip from Lime Crime as you will see in the ending shot. But to tie my look together and make it cohesive because that's what I love doing with the lighter and darker looks, I'm just taking some silver liner from NYX and adding stars. So that ties in with the lighter look since we did a glitter stars in the first one. If you guys are interested in following along to see what I'm doing every week, check out my Instagram, Makeup by Meg B. I'm behind on uploading the videos, but I have been posting new, weeks, new looks weekly on my Instagram. 
that is going to wrap it up for today's look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.